Is this video claiming to show a fish that plays fetch like a dog for real? Or is this freaky footage just a little too fishy to be true? I've got the 411 on that far out fish story, plus real or fake verdicts on a whole bunch of crazy photos and videos that you guys sent in. Like this photo of a strange creature with glowing green eyes that looks like it came straight out of a horror movie. A photo claiming to show the tallest cat in the world. A video claiming to show a cat swinging its legs like a Radio City showgirl. And that doesn't even include the big story this week about a video that claims to show one of the most terrifying monsters I've ever heard of. The dreaded Cthulhu. Is there any way this could be real? Hey guys, Bill here. You know, we've all heard stories about gigantic monsters that haunt the ocean deep. The crazy, scary kraken, the gigantic leviathan, even the mega shark megalodon. But as terrifying as these awesome monsters may be, I don't think they can hold a candle to what has to be the creepiest, most mysterious, and possibly biggest sea monster of them all, the dreaded Cthulhu. Talk about big, it's said to be about a mile high with a face full of tentacles that supposedly came from outer space. Information on this creature has been around for quite a while, but recently there's been a huge spike in interest in the Cthulhu because of a video that was recently posted on YouTube claiming to show a Cthulhu rampaging through the city of Chicago. As you can see, I've received well over a hundred emails from people asking me to look into this. Augustin Santana, Monkey J, Bonehead, and many, many other people all want to know basically what Augustine wrote, which was, Hi Bill, I was wondering if this video showing a creature known as the Cthulhu is real. Well Augustine, since you and so many other people have asked us to take a look at this, that is exactly what we're going to do, and we're going to start right now. The video is titled Cthulhu Attacks Chicago and was posted by YouTuber Hollywood Scotty. It starts out with a pan across the Chicago skyline on a very foggy day. In the background we hear sirens blaring and strange unearthly roaring or growling noises. Then suddenly we see a gigantic shape looming directly behind the Willis Tower, Chicago's tallest building. The giant creature brushes past the building, causing it to collapse, then disappears into the mist. Now another thing that I think is important to mention is the fact that there have been other alleged sightings of the Cthulhu posted on YouTube over the last couple of years. This video posted in May of 2016 called Cthulhu Confirmed claims to show the monster at an unspecified beach location. But how do we know these strange shapes in the distance are really the Cthulhu? And maybe even more to the point, what exactly is a Cthulhu and where did it come from? The first detailed description we have of the Cthulhu comes from book author H.P. Lovecraft. It's titled The Call of the Cthulhu and was published in a pulp magazine, Weird Tales, in 1928. In this story, we learn that the Cthulhu is a, quote, monster of vaguely anthropoid outline, but with an octopus-like head whose face is a mass of feelers. It has a scaly, rubbery-looking body, prodigious claws on hind and four feet, and long, narrow wings behind. According to the story, the Cthulhu was a monstrous being from a distant star imprisoned on planet Earth. It was destined to sleep for thousands of years until being awakened to attack the Earth and its people.
Coincidentally, the coordinates given for the location of its home place it very close to the Pacific Pole of inaccessibility, the point in the ocean that's farthest away from any land. These coordinates roughly match the origin of the mysterious bloop sound, which may be the largest underwater audio signal ever recorded. I actually covered the bloop in another video, so I'll leave a link to that one below so you can check it out. But getting back to the Cthulhu, is it possible a terrifying monster awakened from a thousand year slumber rose from the ocean depths to terrorize Chicago and destroy the Willis Tower? To answer that question, I turn to YouTuber Hollywood Scotty, who is the man who actually posted that video. And thanks to Scotty, I now have this, the official answer. But as you probably already know, if you watch this show, there is no way there's an answer coming out of here before I get an answer out of you from up there, okay? Now, when I say go, what I want you to do is yell out as loud as you can, either real or fake. Now, if you can't do that, it's okay to pause the video, go to the comment section, leave your answer down there, then come back here and play the rest of the video to see if you're right or not. A third way to go is just to vote right up there. You ready? And go. Okay, did you vote? Good, because Hollywood Scotty is going to be joining us in just a few seconds to reveal the old official answer. But before we do that, I just want to cover a couple other crazy photos and videos that you guys sent in recently. First up is this photo of a bizarre creature that looks like a mutant fish with glowing green eyes. It was posted to my Facebook page by area code 415 who wants to know if it's the real deal. Well, area code 415, I can understand why you might think that thing's fake because those crazy eyes make that thing look like some sort of mechanized robo fish to me. But depending on how you voted, you could be right and you could be wrong. Now, if you voted real, you are right. It's real. As Facebook fact checker Atharva Jadha pointed out, this is a deep water fish called a chimera, and the photo was taken by a fisherman in Russia. Say what? Facebook research whiz Isaac Sisson adds that it's also known as a ghost shark, which if you take a look at those weirdly glowing green eyes, makes total sense. The eyes glow that way because they contain a membrane that reflects any light that passes through the retina. Next up is this photo claiming to show the tallest cat in the world. It was submitted via email by Ruthie Toothy who asked, is this the tallest cat in the world or is somebody just learning Photoshop? Well, Ruthie Toothy, you know, I know what you mean because when I look at that, it looks like somebody used Photoshop to stretch that cat's legs like Taffy. But what I think doesn't really matter because what really matters here is what you guys think. You think it's real? You think it's fake? How'd you vote? Well, if you voted fake, you are absolutely wrong because it's real. The ever-reliable Facebook reader Isaac Sisson was the one who solved this mystery. It's called a serval cat, and it does in fact have the longest legs of any cat relative to its body size. It stands up to 62 inches or about 1.7 meters high at the shoulder. With those incredibly long legs, it can jump a distance of 10 feet or about 3 meters. This picture was actually photographed by Robert Class, but I myself was fortunate enough to see one of these things in the wild. I even recorded some video of it while I was traveling through the famous Ningoro Ningoro crater in Tanzania. It was close to sunset and the cat was actually hunting a mouse, which is really unusual to see at this time of the day. I'll pull, I'm gonna post a link to the full video so you can check it out in the description box. Our final question today was sent in by Joshua and Stephen Billing who wrote, Hey Bill, does this video really show a cat swinging its legs like that? Well, Joshua and Stephen, you know, this one was a little difficult and it took some work, but we did figure it out. So let me just say that if you voted fake on this one, you got this one right because it is fake. 
We did find plenty of other examples of cats in seated positions with their legs hanging down like humans, so it's clearly possible for them to sit like that. But as far as this particular video is concerned, there's only one leg swing in it, and then what they did is they edited it so that one little leg swing is just repeating over and over again. Okay, now that we got all that out of the way, what do you say we get back to finding out whether that Cthulhu rampaging through Chicago is a real video or not? Now, today we don't actually have to open the envelope because we have the man who made the video, Hollywood Scotty, on the phone with us right now. Okay, so Hollywood Scotty, I'm so glad we got you on the line today. You are the man with the answer. So tell us, is this video real? or fake. This video that I've uploaded 100% without a shadow of a doubt is completely fake. Fake. You know, I gotta say, you know, when I first saw this thing, I thought, you know, it was pretty obvious this is a fake, but we had so many people write in about it, there was no way we could avoid it. But tell me this, What's the story behind this video and why did you make it? Sure. So I was live streaming on Twitch TV. It's a live streaming website for people who like to play video games. And one evening I was kind of bored of the game that I was playing and decided that I would stream something different. And I had been messing around with video editing for years. And I figured, huh, maybe some people watching would be interested in seeing this. So somebody had sent me a link to the original video, which I'm sure plenty of people have found by now of the tornado siren that the audio from the video is actually um, part of the original video and the rainstorm and all the fog and everything was in the original video as well and so i someone sent me that footage i thought it looked really creepy and thought it would be cool to try to superimpose some sort of a monster knocking things over and so for two three hours i, I went ahead and added cthulhu knocking over the sears tower i think it's the willis tower now in Chicago and uh, did the audio off stream and ended up uploading it and it blew up from there. All right, well, there you go. From the man himself, the Cthulhu attacking Chicago is nothing more than a big piece of poo poo. Well, I mean, good poo poo, you know what I mean? Because, you know, Scotty did a good job of cooking that thing up because it freaks out a lot of you guys. Coming up, I'm going to be showing you the answer to that crazy fish who apparently has figured out how to play fetch. But before I do that, I just want to send out a big thanks to all you people for sending in all those crazy photos and videos that you send in every week. Also want to send out a big thanks to Hollywood Scotty for spending time with us today. I'm going to be leaving a link to his original video down in the old description box. So if you want to check it out, just click on that link and you can hop over and look at the whole entire thing. Just don't forget to tell him that Bill said hello, okay? And hey, don't forget, if you've got a picture or a video and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at Bill's channel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links or suggestions in the comment section, people. I mean, I'm serious because the only thing that's going to do is turn me into a mile-high monster screaming, you're driving me crazy! See you next time. Now, about that video claiming to show a fetch playing fish. As it turns out, this video is completely real. Studies have shown that fish can be trained like dogs to crave human affection and seek active play.